Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 subscribe if you're interested. Also, no pressure. Let's do a random ranking today. Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. I'll rank them here in the video. And if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. All right. Um, <clears throat> coughing, sorry. All right, what do we got here? I'm gonna grab one over here, and then let's do one that's right here, maybe behind Polka Dot Man. Ooh, that has the packaging. That has the packaging, what if that means I haven't seen the movie? If I haven't seen the movie, that means I need to replace it with one that I have seen. All right, where are we at? Seen it? <clears throat> ah, I haven't seen it. So this was the one I picked that had the packaging, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I have not seen that one, so we'll go back here and pick out a new film and we've got all right here we go so ooh, did I just break my shoe no okay <clears throat> have I I haven't shown any of these right okay so first we have the movie Nell Nell um, Jodie Foster Liam Neeson Liam Neeson to me feels very miscast in this or underdeveloped he just doesn't seem like he should be in the movie slash they needed to give him more to do or he needed better chemistry maybe there's a lack of chemistry between the two of them it's not like they're a couple or anything it's about like somebody who was not raised by wolves but raised by uh nobody <laughs> just living out in nature and he discovers her and like studies her and stuff and tries to acclimate her to society. So, uh, yeah, I don't like the title. Um, I, I was talking recently um, with my friend Leslie over at The Good, The Bad, and The Okay. We were talking about um, titles. I mean, briefly, briefly. But I had mentioned that I don't like. Um, he said something that made me think think about how I feel like I'm butchering this story so much. Basically, it seems as if we are both not a fan of movies that just have a name for the title because it's like, well, who's that? I prefer a more poetic title. So maybe call this Wild Woman or something. I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, that's probably worse than this title. Um, nothing against the name Nell. Nell's a beautiful name, but Nell as a title for a movie or just anything like the movie Lincoln Steven Spielberg's Lincoln it's like you t you titled the movie Lincoln when it's not even about Abraham Lincoln's life it's just a moment uh, or a, a time a period of time in his life so yeah I'm just not always for that but yeah this uh, this movie you will um, if you watch it you might feel uncomfortable you might laugh uh, at moments that were not intended to laugh. I don't know. I think I've heard a lot of stories about how people watch that movie. Uh, next we have Fast and Furious, which, if I can recall correctly, is the fourth one. Fast and Furious is the fourth one, right? It's when they're like in the tunnels or whatever. Um, I kind of like this movie like the second time I watched it, but I also don't care that much about it. For me, Fast and Furious franchise is one, two, three, and five. And then um, probably seven. I mean, they all mix up together, but also the, the one, the Paul Walker's last one. Okay. Then we have Moon with, his name always escapes me, not Rock Hudson, not Norman Rockwell, why can't I think of it? His name is escaping me. I'm just gonna look. Sam Rockwell. <laughs> there's a, I know there's a rock in there. I, I used to never have a problem with Sam Rockwell's name. I could just pull it right away, but I like couldn't remember it one time, and then now I feel like the pressure is always on whenever his name pops up. Anyway, David Bowie's son directed this movie. And his name is something Bowie, probably, right? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't see it on here. Anyway, David Bowie's son directed this. And Kevin Spacey does the voice of like a robot in this. Um, I felt like this movie like has a twist or something, right? But I felt like I, I knew what was going on early on accident, if I remember right. I don't know, not that that's a good or a bad thing in a movie. Sometimes you just pick up on the twist a little early. But I really love the aesthetic of this movie. It's pulling from sort of that, uh, like the the Alien uh, franchise when it comes to the, the interiors, um, or even like the Millennium Falcon a little bit, uh, kind of like hunk of junk type stuff, and that's really cool. So how are we going to rank these? Moon is number one. Then, what do I do here? Like, the fourth Fast and Furious movie doesn't mean much to me. That one's about drug running, isn't it? The fourth one? Or, isn't that about drug running? Or, maybe not drug running. I think it might be drug running. Through tunnels. Um, they're running something. Is this what I want? I don't know. My father-in-law really loves this movie. I just... I don't know. Just, uh, I almost called him Sam Neill. Uh, Liam Neeson just, something was a little off. Okay. So, nothing against the name Nell. Nell is a beautiful name that I love. It's just, I'm not that into this movie. So let's go Moon, Fast and Furious, then Nell. Probably. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, this is my ranking. Moon, Fast, and Furious, and then Nell. So, my question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.